Okay, so now it's time to actually plug the keyboard in and use it. First thing we have to do is turn it on. On the back you'll see a little on off switch, just like you see on almost every other piece of computer equipment. Just push that. You hear the harpsichord chime showing that it's turned on and you see some lights turning on. The power light is on and you see this wireless symbol flashing. That's because Clean Keys right now is looking for its wireless partner, which we haven't plugged into the computer yet. But before we do that, I want to show wired mode, because there's actually two modes. The keyboard can be wired or wireless. To be wired, you pull back this little rubber flap on the back, which exposes a mini USB connector. That's a waterproof connector. You have to be careful not to yank on this rubber thing, because you can pull it right off. So just gently pull that back and you can plug the end of the supplied USB cable right into that connection. Okay, then the other end of course goes into the USB port on your computer. Now you'll notice that the wireless light has stopped flashing and the little battery symbol has turned red showing that the keyboard's actually charging. But not only is it charging, but it's also working. I can type just like normal with the keyboard plugged into the computer in that way. So that's wired mode. Okay, but what about wireless? We get rid of the cable. Sure enough, our wireless symbol starts flashing again. Well, the USB dongle that comes in the box is already prepared with the keyboard. So all I have to do is plug this into a USB port and it should find it and that light will stop flashing. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, plug it into my laptop. Sure enough, the light has stopped flashing. That means it's happy, it's found its partner, and it's ready to type wirelessly. So here I am without being plugged in and I can type.